Hey everyone, welcome to another session of Sarazzle Dazzle Physics. In today's session, we're going to be talking about solenoids and electromagnets. So, we'll start off with the following. Alright, so before we get going, we need to go over a couple of things we've covered in the previous lessons. I hope you've watched my video about current and magnetism before watching this one. If not, pause this video, go and watch that video and then come back afterwards. So you're looking for the current and magnetism video before watching this one. Okay, so hopefully we can remember the following, that when current passes through a wire, as you can see here, I've got a wire over here, yep, and the current's going upwards through this wire, we know that the wire will generate its own magnetic field. So let's draw the magnetic field on here. So the magnetic field is generated, we're going to use green for the magnetic field, and it looks like this. It's going around this way. So green equals magnetic field. Right, so the next thing is this. Imagine we take that wire, so imagine this is the wire, the current going through it, and we coil it around. So yeah, we coil it around here. So let's just say we take that wire and we coil it around my hand. There we go. So we coil it around. Guys, it ends up looking like this. Well, obviously it's a bit horrendous, but it will look like the following diagram. We take that wire and we coil it around. It will end up looking like this. Happy days, yeah? So now look, you can see the current is now going up this way, down the front, Round the back, up round the back, and then going down or front again, again, and again, looping round over here. There we go. As you can see, guys, the current is going down the front, up round the back, down the front, up round the back, again and again. So that's what the current is doing. It's going round, it's looping round again and again here. I've left out the arrows going up round the back, but hopefully you know that's happening here. Right, so now the wire has been coiled up. What's going to happen is it will also have a magnetic field. The magnetic field will now flow through the wire. So the magnetic field looks like the following now. It's different from before. It looks like this. There we go. It's going in between the wires. Yeah, flowing right through it now. I'm going to draw some arrows here to show you the field direction. Let's just remove that. So the arrows here show you the field direction. Right, this is called a solenoid, guys. When you have a coil of wire which generates its own magnetic field, which looks like this, this is called a solenoid. So, solenoid. Everyone happy? Alright, so, the next question is the following. How to determine the direction of the magnetic field in the solenoid? So, in the previous example, how did I know the field was going this way? How do I know it from this diagram? Well, there's a way to work it out. Right now, first of all, the step number one, all right, so we can see the current goes up around the back, down the front over here, then it goes up, then it goes down, down there. Yeah, again and again. Obviously, imagine it being in 3D, guys. Imagine you have the coil of wire like this in front of you, and you were to look at it sideways on. What would you see if you looked at it sideways on? Well, hopefully you can see that if you looked at it sideways on, you'd see that, you would see a circle. So if I'm going to, right, so if I'm over here, so let's say I'm over here, if I'm looking over here, I would see a circle, okay? And if I'm looking from the opposite side over here, there we go, I would also see a circle from the opposite side. So now I'm looking from the opposite side, I'd also see a circle. So circle from this side and circle from this side over here. Right, now I'm going to draw the direction of the current. So we know for this side, it will be going up round this side on the left and down round the front. Yeah, look carefully. If you look at it from that side, up round that side, down the front here. And the opposite side, you can see that it'll be coming down this way over here and up this way. Make sure you can visualise that, guys. So look, it's going down on the left and on the right-hand side going up here. Yeah, this is quite difficult. A lot of kids struggle to see this, so make sure you can see that from these, this diagram over here. Right, so next bit is a little trick in physics. We can say that this part is going to be the south. So the S shape, look at the S shape, look at the ends of the S shape. You put little arrows on there and look, they match up with the arrows of the circle. So these two arrows match up. And so this will be an S shape. So this this will be a south pole. How do I know that? Look at the S shape, look at the ends of the S, the letter S. You can see that the arrows match up, they go in the same direction. Yeah, it's very nice, it's a nice little trick here. And look at the opposite side. The other side will be a north. So look, if I draw the N, 
look, look at the end of the letter N. You can see the arrows match up, so this will be a north over here. Easy stuff. So we know that on one side there will be a north, and the other side there will be a south. So one side will be a north, and one side will be a south. So because, let's say, if this is the north, you know it's going out of the north, because the field lines go out of the north. And they go into the south over here. So this one must be the south, because the lines are going into it. And the other one's going to be the north over there. So north on that side, so it's going out of the north and into the south. Make sure you understand how field lines work. They're moving out of the north and into the south. Yeah, easy stuff here. So this is how you can determine the direction of the magnetic field in a solenoid. You can clearly see that when you call the wire up, you can determine which way is the north and which way is the south using that little trick of drawing the circles by writing the S and the N and watching which way the arrows go. Yeah, it's a nice little trick here. Hopefully you can see those arrows. Yes, look, the S arrows match up with that circle and the, the north arrows match up with that circle. So the N over there and the S over there. Okay, so now we're going to talk about electromagnets. So what exactly is an electromagnet? An electromagnet is a magnet that can be turned off and on by using electricity. So an electromagnet is a magnet that can be turned off and on by the use of electricity. So as you can see right now, I can turn off this magnet. Very simply, all I've got to do is turn off the current. So this is an electromagnet. This is an electromagnet. An electromagnet is a magnet that can be turned off and on using electricity. So we can turn the magnet off and on by using electricity. Because surely we can see that if I turn off the current in here, so look guys, there's current going through that wire. If I stop the current going through it, simply it will not work. So it will not work if the current is not going through it. So if I stop the current going through it, it will no longer generate a magnetic field. So you need to have current going through here to generate a magnetic field. But notice as someone turns the current off, that magnetic field will no longer work. Okay, next thing is going to be, what three ways are there to change the strength of the electromagnet? What three ways are there? All right, so the first way to increase the strength of an electromagnet is simply the following. Number one, you can Increase the current going through the wire. So if you increase the current going through the wire, the field will get stronger. Because the higher the current, the stronger the magnetic field. So the higher the current, the stronger the magnetic field. What else could you do? Well, you could also do the following. So two, the second thing you can do is increase the number of turns per unit length. So look guys, over here, I've drawn diagram A and diagram B. You can clearly see in B there are more turns per unit length therefore the field will be stronger. So in part B, there will be more turns per unit length, therefore the field will be stronger. And last of all, all you can do is, right, and the third thing is going to be by inserting an iron core into the wire. So look guys, over here we have an iron core now inserted through the actual uh, solenoid now. So we insert the iron core and therefore, because it's a magnetic material, it will amplify the magnetic field. Right, so there are three ways to increase the strength of electromagnet. Number one, by increasing the current. Number two, by increasing the number of turns per unit length. And number three, by inserting an iron core into the solenoid, we will generate a stronger magnetic field. Okay, right, so let's have a quick recap from the start of today's lesson. So at the start, we said that today's title was going to be Solenoids and Electromagnets. And I said to you guys, what exactly is a solenoid? Well, if we have a wire, we know we have a magnetic field going around it. If we take that wire and we coil it around, it's going to be called a solenoid. The magnetic field flows through the wire. The magnetic field flows through the wire here. How can I determine the direction of the magnetic field in the solenoid? I can simply look at the ends of the solenoid. I will see that they are circles. Then if I draw the direction in which the current is going, I can then match that to the symbol S to show me it's the south pole. And look at the other one. If I draw the other circle, I can match that to the letter N. Yeah, to work out that's a north pole and the other one is a south pole. And the field lines go out of the north and into the south, guys. Out of the north and into the south. So that's why that side over here, this side was obviously the north because it's going out of the north. This side is south because it's going into the south here. Field lines always go from north to south. Then an electromagnet is a magnet that can be turned off and on by using electricity. 
The ways to increase the strength of an electromagnet are number one, increasing the current. The higher the current, the stronger the magnetic field. Number two, by increasing the number of turns per unit length. And number three, by inserting an iron core within the solenoid. And that's it for another session in Sarazzle Dazzle Physics. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you like and subscribe to my videos. Watch it a couple of times to make sure you fully understand it. Take notes, guys, because you'll need this definitely in the exam. And that's it. Ciao, ciao, goodbye, and good luck.